Hiya folks, I've got a 3 8 drive and a half inch torque wrench. I've had the half inch one for probably 20 or so years. This one I got about eight years ago and I'm having trouble seeing the little digits on them. I find them very hard to see. So I've just recently upgraded to these Clark Pro 3 8 and half inch digital torque wrenches. Let's have a look at the benefits, let's see how they work. Right, so here's my little 3 apes Clark, I do like the Clark gear, torque wrench. This one measures in inch pounds. It's, it's a little bit difficult to read, and one of the main reasons is, is that this graph they've got on here, on the earlier ones, or the uh, manual ones, for example, it's just sort of pressed in, and it's very, very difficult to read. And I was having a lot of trouble reading that and setting him up. Likewise, the... Um, the laser one that I've got here as well is even worse. This is a lot older. You can see the rust on the handle with this one. Now that writing is barely non-existent. And this does foot pounds, newton meters. So it does two different ones there. But as you can see, it's very, very hard to read and very easy to get wrong as well. So I've been using these ones for quite a few years, as I said to you, but um, very difficult to read this old type. Now we've got these new ones come out which I've always hankered after ones. These are the uh, Clark Pro range. This one is the Pro 236. This is the 3 8 drive one. And as you can see, it's a nice looking tool. And the beauty of it is, is that it's got a digital display uh, setup and also an audible alarm when you reach the peak torque that you request. So it is battery powered. They're both battery powered. This is the 3 8 drive one, as I said to you. The half inch one at the back here is the uh, PRO 237. And again, the difference really is one, the drive section, which on this one is 3 8 and on the larger one, and it is a lot larger as well, on the half inch one, it's, um, well, as you can see, it's that much longer again. So let's have a closer look at on, on how these actually work. So as it says on the box there, you've got um, a large LCD display, and it also does not only just two different readings, this does newton meters, pounds per square inch, pounds per square foot, kg-m. Uh, dash M. I can't, I'm not too sure what that one is actually, but um, foot pounds and newton meters is, is the uh, most popular ones there. And the um, half inch one goes from 20 newton meters up to 200. I think it actually says it on there as well, as you can probably see there. Let's get that in the light, there we go. So it actually says on it 20 to 200 newton meters. And the 3 8 drive one does 10 to 135 newton meters. So those are ideal in most situations uh, for the sort of semi-pro or the pro mechanic. I'm a do-it-yourself, so I mean this is ideal for me. Although I did encounter my drive shaft nut on my uh, car I'd done last week, and that actually went up to 250 newton meters. So um, I didn't actually use these ones in that case. So putting the boxes to one side, let's put them over the back there. Again, they come in a nice sturdy case as well. Look at that, look, good for storage. So let's just put them to one side. And we'll have a look at the smaller one, just because it's easier to handle, that's all. So I'll leave that one there. As I say, these are my old ones, so I will keep them. There will be a place and a time for them, maybe. And always handy to have a backup anyway, in case we lose the batteries. The batteries go in the end of the unit there, it just undoes. And it takes four triple A batteries there. It comes with the batteries supplied. Uh, I don't know how long they're gonna last, but um, as I say, it gets you going straight out of the box, so to speak. So let's put them back in there. And the spring-loaded cap. I find it easy just to hold the cap and turn the machine. Saves your cross thread in it. Right, so that's it. So you've got a little click on there to return and reverse it as well. And this will also measure in the reverse as well. So if you've got a left-handed thread, for example, you can set a minus detail, minus digit on there, and it will measure it in reverse. So let's have a little look at the uh, how to set this up. Right, it's pretty simple to operate. You've got your on and off button there. You've got your zero button there to zero everything back to normal. You've got your plus figure there. That makes you, when you're making the increments to increase. You've also got a light there and a set function. And with this button here, you can also uh, change your scale from newton meters to inch foot pounds for uh, foot pounds or whatever so let's just turn the unit on first of all let's see what we get in the display so first of all you've got the little m feature in the corner there that's um your memory button so you can press through that scroll through that you've got five memory selection buttons there as you can see 
and you enter them just by hitting the plus button and I'm down to one. So number one is sit at number 60 and I'm on Newton meters in the top there. So we'll stick on your Newton meters scale at the moment. So that one's set for Newton meters on memory number one and it's on T for the torque range. And we press it again, you'll scroll to number two. That one's set on 25 Newton meters. Number three is set on 135 Newton meters. Number four is 135, and so is number five. So and then back to number one again. So if you want to change your scale for, instead of Newton meters, you want to change it to foot pounds, press that twice, the middle button, and then you can scroll down to, so that's inch pounds, foot pounds, you can do it that way, and then change your settings like that. And then once you've chosen the one you want, and then you just leave it for three seconds, and then it goes back on and you're now set on newton meters if you want to change this has also got a turning off facility you can either have it if it's inactive for a certain amount of minutes it will turn itself off and to set that you'll press that and press it once press it twice press it three times and that's just five minutes or 15 minutes or off or leave or turn it off so five minutes i'm going to leave it on five minutes let it stay there for three seconds that means after five minutes in activity to save the battery, this will turn off. So there's that. And you set your memory settings, as I said to you, by scrolling on to the next memory and then holding it for three seconds. It will come up set and then you can zero everything. So I'm setting program number three now, or memory number three. Move along to the side, the next one. And I want that at 65 foot pounds. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Hit the like button below it to move along to the next digit and then plus button to five and then hit the set button in the middle that's it so number three is now set on 65 pounds so if you knew what your torque regions were of the job you were going to do let's say you were doing a suspension and you wanted the top nut to be a certain torque then you wanted the uh, shock absorber pinch bolt to be a set and torque you'd set that into number two for example and then you wanted the uh the drop link bolt to be a certain torque, you can set that on number three, and all you've got to do then is just literally scroll through your memory buttons to find out what one you actually want. So that's how you do that. Right, so I've put a 3 8 short extension in my vice just to check this out. We'll clip that on there like that. Right, so what we've got, you've got a backlight there, so we can turn the light on, and I'm going to set this one to 25 newton meters. So it's already set on my second preset. So as I start to pull, you'll see a little light down here start to illuminate amber when we get near to it. It's on amber now, I think you'll find, if you can see the light. Yep. And then it will go that green like that. If it goes red, that's it. I'm basically on it now. When it goes red, you've gone too far. You just take it back to it. There we go. There we go. So that's how you read it. And if I want to change the torque now, rather than me mess about with the old one, you just press the next button until the next torque set. And that one's now set on 65 Newton meters. And this one's going to take a lot more force to turn. So you're listening for that dotted line, that dotted green. There we go. And that's how simple it is. So really set it, really easy to set up, folks. Then you just turn the LED light off if you're in the dark. That's one thing as well. With the LED light, you can turn that on and off. And with the ones like these, for example, the old torque wrench, it's bad enough to see that normally anyway, but if you've got poor lighting in your workshop or whatever, you literally can't see that. And if you've got to change it on the fly as well, like when you're under the bonnet or whatever, to, to undo that and to turn this back and to try and line these digits, it's so difficult. So we're not living in prehistoric times now, so we've got to move with the times. And it also, if it makes your life easier and it's simpler to use, then it's got to be a good job and it's got to be a progression. At the end of the day, this is going to be really handy and it's got a nice soft grip as well for your, your handle. And there's no worrying about with this type, for example, once you've undone them, you're supposed to undo the tension and unwind them so that you're not compressing that spring inside as well constantly. So you have to unwind them once, then you have to lock that back up again and obviously put it away. 
and uh, this one's starting to go a bit rusty but um that's just the way it goes and they also come with a full set of instructions i mean i've only just shown you briefly here what they do um i'm not an expert i've just literally read the instructions and took it out of the box so you get a full set of instructions there you also get your certificate of calibration and that tells you what it's been tested on you do count the clockwise and counter clockwise tests it's got there it's got a tolerance of plus or minus four percent on the test load so there you go that's the clark pro range uh, the three eighth drive and the half inch drive torque wrenches and i'm very pleased with them now as i said to you one of the reasons why i don't like getting that one out especially the big one the older one is because i can't blink and see the digits on it <laughs> and you, you sort of like that all the time but uh very very hard to read them ones these ones as i said to you you've got a lovely lcd display on it and you've got a backlight as well if you want to put the backlight on as well so there you go just turn the power off and the power's off if i wouldn't have turned it off it would have gone off in five minutes time anyway to save the batteries so there you go folks that's my latest edition i'll be using these a lot more in my car videos coming up you'll be seeing so that's them that's the difference in length as you can see one's half inch one's three quarter the actual length of the uh three eighths one is 49 centimeters and the half inch one is 60.8 centimeters so that's the different lengths of them and uh, i'm well pleased with them and don't forget put one on your christmas list or even if you've got an Amazon wish list, put one on there as well. Anyway, we'll leave a link in the description below the videos where you can get these from. I did get these from Machine Mart. I like their gear. I use their gear quite a lot, as you've probably seen in my other videos. I use the Sealy range and the Clark range stuff. Oh, I get it all from Machine Mart. To me, I'm like a kid in the sweet shop when I go there. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. And I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.